Hey folks, it's Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. And I'll tell you what, this last two and a half years on hunting in public land has been a hell of a lot more of a challenge than I thought it was going to be. I got a problem. I need your advice. So after watching this short video, I want you to go ahead and comment and tell me what you think I should do in this situation. Last week, Lee Thomas and I set up a grapevine mock scrape the uh, last week of May in an area where we had a big buck last fall. Uh, we don't know if he made it through the hunting season because somebody stole my SD card out of my camera in late November. Last week we set up three trail cameras in the area and uh, also set up two of Jeff Sturgis's grapevine mock scrapes. Uh, we've had smaller bucks and does coming in and consistently hitting this grapevine, uh, just leaving their scent from their orbital glands uh, on this grapevine, communicating with one another. But I had two mature bucks shy away from it and uh, one I think may have been this big buck that we were chasing last year. It's still a little bit early to determine whether it's the same deer or not, but it looks like the age structure with his body and uh, the mass of the antlers could be him. I'm interested in your ideas. If you could comment on why you think these two bucks shied away. We did spray our boots before going in with no scent spray, but we didn't wear our rubber boots. Uh, I did urinate in the scrape before leaving and Lee and Thomas stood at the scrape while I was putting the trail camera up to help line it up. The six days after we put it in, we had a drought, thus we had no rain to wash our scent away. And I think maybe that residual scent may have been a product of driving him away. I got a video of this big guy on June 6th, and I didn't pull my SD card until the 9th of July. Problem is, he never showed up again. I know season's full three months away, but I don't want to push him out of this area. Let me know what your thoughts are, what you think we did wrong or right, and what you think I should do moving forward. Big bucks get mature for a reason. They're smart and they're so good at identifying smells that aren't natural. I'm looking forward to hearing your comments and ideas that may help me out in this situation. I hope you guys liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe. This is Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting Town and you have a great day. See ya.